you're a med student and you want to be a neurosurgeon, one of the first things you're going to be asked to do is to tie a one-handed surgical knot. So this is how you do that. And then I'm going to break it down into a couple easy steps to show what's really going on when we're doing this. Okay? So you have your post hand and your working hand for a one-handed surgical tie. Right? You're holding tension with your post hand and then with your working hand you can do, you can start with a backhanded throw, holding it with your forefinger and thumb coming through like this using your middle and ring finger to pull it through and then cinch it down, right? After that, you can do a forehand throw. For a forehand throw, you make your fingers like an L, you come through like this, and you use your forefinger as a trigger finger to come and grab your post and pull this through, right? This one's a little bit complicated. You're coming, you're grabbing, and you're pulling through, and those are the two main throws. So typically, you'll start by throwing two knots in the same direction. That generates a slip knot to get it nice and tight. All right, so I've done two backhanded, and now I'm gonna lock it down by changing directions and throwing a forehanded knot. And once it's locked down like that, you can just continue to alternate between backhand and forehand with as many reinforcing knots as you desire.